Welcome to my guide on the fastest way to make money in emergency Hamburg as of April 2024. In this video, I'm going to detail exactly what the best method is to get money the fastest in this game. But just before we get started, please subscribe for more emergency Hamburg content, but let's just get into it. So the first step is very important. Okay, so no matter what, you want to make sure you're in the emergency Hamburg group. So there's a reason for this. So you can see here, it says join our game group for 25% more allowance money. Now this is very important. Okay, so make sure you're in the emergency Hamburg group. So yeah, just go to the group and just click join here okay and just make sure you're a citizen okay so then this is going to ensure that instead of getting about uh, 350 euros every 10 minutes you're going to get for like 450 something like that so if you're not in the group you get way less per 10 minutes so this is basically just gonna give you a good amount of money in the background while you're farming so yeah very important make sure you're in the group but anyway let me tell you exactly how to um do all the robberies now so i've got a very specific order that you should follow if you want to maximize your profits so basically it goes also farm shop, tool shop, RS fuel, gas and go fuel, bank, jeweler and harbor. So this order is basically designed to get you between all these places in the fastest way possible. So obviously tool shop and RS, you know, they're right next to each other. So obviously that's why I've put them together. So yeah, it's just the best routes to follow really, or just follow anything where um, it's the closest things. But yeah, as long as you follow this, you will maximize how much you're making. And this is the absolute fastest way. So I'm going to go through it right now. So there are a couple things you need to know. Okay, so you can either do this method in a private server or a public server. So I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each. So a private server is going to cost you about 200 Robux every single month. And the pros are it allows you to teleport to your car, spawn in an admin car, which is has unlimited fuel and unlimited health. You won't have to deal with police. Now, the bad things about the private server is that private servers have a reduced uh, kind of rate of money. So you won't make as much robbing on a private server than you will robbing on a public server. So now let me move on to public servers. So public servers, the pros are you're going to make way more, way more on a public server, but the cons are you're going to have police on you all the time. You know, police are going to be swarming you uh, when you're trying to rob. So really it's up to you um, which method you want to go with. If you're trying to really maximize your profits, I would go for a public server. But if you're just trying to kind of, you know, do it casually, maybe private server is easier. Really it's up to you if you want to deal with police or if you don't want to deal with police. But obviously if you don't want to deal with police, private server is going to have reduced profits. So you need to decide basically. Personally, I'm on a private server just to make this video easy to record um, so I can walk through it without, you know, being uh, disturbed. But anyway, now that we've got that over with, let me show you how it's done. So you can see I actually just got allowance of 450 euros because I'm in the group. If I wasn't in the group, it would be like 350 or something like that. Maybe 360. I'm not sure. I can't quite remember. But anyway, the first step in this is you're going to want to go to the nearest dealer. Okay. So once you're at the dealer, you want to talk to him and you want to buy three bombs and that's it. You just need three bombs, okay? So now that you've got your three bombs, you want to first head to Osso Fuel, okay? That's where it starts. It starts at Osso Fuel, okay? So you want to drive to Osso Fuel and then once we're done with Osso, we're just going to follow the route. So I'm going to make my way over there right now. Anyway, let me just show you how easy it is um, on a private server. So on a pr I'm on a private server right now and you can see my car is completely stuck, but doesn't matter. I just do spawn admin car and now I've got this car which has unlimited fuel, unlimited health. So it really is quite useful um, when you're grinding. All right, so here I am at Osso Fuel, and basically all you do, just park outside real quick and then just kind of run inside, come over to the cash register, start punching it, punch it as quick as you can, and you know you're going to notice it's going to drop like five bundles of cash in a private server, but in a public server, this is going to be way more. Well, I think each bundle of cash is worth a little bit more in public servers. But anyway, just pick up all the cash on the floor, and now you're going to see that I have 874 euros in stolen money. So yeah, that is on a private server. On a public, you'd have about like three 3k 2k maybe so yeah it's, it's it's much better on public anyway now that you're done also there's a dirt path that will take you directly to the next place to rob so if you just follow this dirt path down and make a right turn here you'll find the farm shop which is the next place to rob so now just head on into the farm shop and start punching the cash register just like you did in also and there you go go ahead and pick up everything it drops so once you've got all the money drive out through the same way you came in and just continue down this dirt path basically the same one you came in on just continue down here but don't don't turn left. Just keep going straight and then make a right turn when you come up to it. Anyway, make a right turn here. So you can actually follow on the map. You see I'm here and I'm just turning over to this road right here. And now I'm in this parking. Just turn right out of here, then immediately turn left and then turn left again. And this is going to take you right over to the tool store, which is the next place to rob. And as you can see, we're right here and then just head on in and punch the cash register. Then obviously once it opens, take all the money again and we're off to the next place. All right. So once you've got everything from the tool shop, literally just go straight straight out of here 
through this dirt path and then if you just follow this you're going to go straight onto the next place which is the Ares fuel station here you go we're here now you can just head on in and break the next cash register and then we can go to the next place once again right now once you're done turn out of here onto this uh long road right here then you're going to make your way all the way down to gas and go fuel so just come all the way down here uh, go over the roundabout <laughs> you can do that if you want to go all the way down here and make a right onto gas and go road now once you're here just uh head on in and obviously break the cash register and this is going to be the last cash register related robbery on the list all right so when you're done with that our next stop is the bank so drive over to the bank it's very close to gas and go just turn out of gas and go then make a left here by the fire station and the bank is just down this road so you can see the bank is right here and then head on inside through these doors and the vault is the door at the end of the hallway so now just a note if this is um red do not do this do not blow up the door because it won't open if it's green you're good to go and if it's red you know you just have to wait a little bit till it becomes available to rob so now just hold tab pick up one of your bombs uh hold it and then just click at the door exit this hold Hold tab and then click detonate then it will blow the door and you now have access so now just pick up all the gold bars and cash in here uh, you just do that by just punching the doors down basically so you can see I just have to spam punch and then the door will eventually come down and yeah there we go yeah so just pick up everything in here and then there are a couple of ways of escaping this vault but if you're just focused on getting the money and you're in a private server then just teleport to your car by running the command to car exclamation mark to car but anyway, you can actually blow up this hole here, um, but obviously I don't want to waste my bomb on that. And there's actually a ladder you can put up there. Anyway, let's just exit normally. All right, so now that you're out of the bank, your next stop is going to be the jeweler, which you just turn around, go back the way you came, and then make a left right here. And then you're going to be uh, at the jeweler just on the right here. So then once you arrive at the jeweler, all you have to do here is just punch the windows um, that you see jewelry is in. So that one hasn't got any, so don't punch that one, but this one has, so you can punch this one. So yeah, just punch this, and you can see it's going to open up, and you can grab the jeweler. Uh, jewels inside and then just repeat the process for all the windows if there is any inside you can see you just pick these up here and now you want to head inside the jeweler and look for any display cases that have a diamond like that or like watches and stuff then there's going to be a couple of windows at the, uh, at the back over here you can just punch these as well if you see anything inside and then yeah once you've cleaned out the shop get out and we can go to the next place so the next stop just turn around and head down to the uh, to the motorway and our next stop is going to be the harbor and that is the last one then you just repeat the process basically so we just head on down here through the tunnel and once you get out of the tunnel the exit is just on the right so you can see right here at this intersection just turn right here and then just head straight down here and you're going to get to the harbor uh, just head on through these gates right here then you're going to want to park by just this staircase right here so just come up here and basically there's going to be two containers there's a yellow one and a green one uh, you can rob both or just one so then you just want to come over to one of them and uh, go to where you see the doors and then take your bomb out place it down just like the vault and detonate get away from it as well now it's open now you can take the stuff inside so you can see there's like guns cash in here stuff like that you can even get a cookie or like a drink so just make sure you collect all of that then you can go and do the second one you don't have to do the second one but if you want to maximize your earnings then do both so we just come over to this one then you use your last bomb on the second container detonate and there we go now we just collect everything inside and now we're basically done with the whole um with the whole thing now you just go and repeat everything i did in this video and keep repeating and then that is going to make you the most you can possibly get but just before i finish this video i need to show you how to sell everything so in some cases not everything can be sold to the dealer so i'm going to show you where exactly where everything goes so drinks and cookies you sell those to get any gas station all right so i'm here at just some like random gas station um here also so basically just come to the cash register and instead of robbing it just go open the menu and just sell all of your drinks and all of your cookies so for weapons gold and jewelry you just want to go to your nearest dealer so mine's literally just right here and once I'm here, I can just open the menu and I, you see I can sell my gun here. Uh, if you've got like a knife or anything, you can sell that here as well. You can sell your jewelry, so just spam sell and all your gold, so just spam sell on that as well. So now that you've sold all those things, it's possible that you could have a diamond. So now if you've got the diamond from the jewelry store, then you need to actually go to a smuggler. So there's only one of those in the entire server. So find him, go to him. You can see mine is right here on the pier. Now I can walk up and sell my diamond here. And there we go. That's it. You are now finished. Uh, just repeat repeat all of that and you'll be making lots of money also if you even want to make a little more just leave your computer on with the game open and you'll get some money from the allowance every 10 minutes but anyway thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed subscribe and goodbye